Hello. This video series provides insights for anyone interested or involved in the process of seeking finance from the Green Climate Fund for Climate Change Adaptation. To date, the amount of available finance for climate change adaptation falls short of global investment needs. The Green Climate Fund considers adaptation investments equally important as mitigation and aims to provide finance for scalable and transformative projects or programs in developing countries. But the path to reaching approval on funding proposals is both complex and competitive. In broad terms, the journey to receive GCF approval to fund climate action projects have a series of requirements with the Secretariat of the Fund and include establishing a country work program, identifying and following procedures for accredited entities, drafting, submitting, and reviewing a project or program concept note and funding proposal documents, and board considerations for approval. Although this video series does not delve into describing the details of the concept note or funding proposal templates and requisites as available to the public, let's briefly recap on the overall process to receiving GCF funding request approval. The beginning of a request for funding starts at the identification of a project idea to be developed and submitted to the GCF in the form of a concept note or funding proposal. A concept note can be the first step to get clearance from the GCF Secretariat on whether the project idea may be suitable for GCF consideration. However, in the case of larger projects, proponents may choose to begin directly with a full funding proposal. Officially, submission is expected to be done by an accredited entity that has cleared requirements to implement GCF-approved projects. In practice, the development of funding request documents can and should involve a series of stakeholders, including national government agencies, civil society, private sector, or others as deemed necessary depending on the project or program. Within two to four weeks from submission of a concept note, the GCF Secretariat is expected to review and revert with feedback for a proposal to be prepared, which follows more extensive processes that also benefits from coordination with the Secretariat. If not completed at the concept note stage, the Secretariat may request proponents to conduct a variety of studies or analysis to inform alignment with the GCF investment areas, criteria, or other considerations in later stages of the funding request process. Ultimately, the GCF evaluation of concept note and funding proposal documents leads to a decision on whether or not to approve funding or project preparation. If the proposal is approved, a funded activity agreement is negotiated and signed between the GCF and the respective accredited entity. Organizations aiming to access GCF funding undergo a process of accreditation that, as defined by the GCF, is designed to assess whether they are capable of strong financial management and of safeguarding funded projects and programs by considering institutional systems, policies and procedures, fiduciary requirements, and a track record of applying environmental and social safeguards, including gender considerations. AEs can include a wide range of national, regional, or international public or private organizations. GCF works with both international accredited entities, including international finance institutions and organizations working in various countries, or direct access entities, which include domestic or regional organizations vouched for by the relevant national designated authority. The GCF intends to increase the share of approved projects submitted by direct access entities to strengthen country ownership and engagement of local stakeholders, as well as increasing the efficiency of investments and context-specific institutional arrangements for climate action. Funding modalities, such as the Enhanced Direct Access Pilot Program, intends to invite an increased number of funding requests by domestic players. Engaging and ensuring adequate communication with accredited entities and other relevant stakeholders in project design and ensuring country ownership is a key element of the funding proposal development process to ensure fundability. However, in many cases, project proponents may face issues to identify a suitable or interested accredited entity. Whether project design teams seeking GCF funding can include a combination of staff from government, civil society, the private sector, and others, identifying an accredited entity early on can help avoid delays in the project pipeline. Generally, the format and frequency of stakeholder engagement activities in project design can vary greatly and include consultations for the preparation and review of funding requests and early stage activities to understand and assess country priorities and synergies with other projects, programs, and players. 
Three-way communication between project proponents, NDAs, AEs, and the GCF Secretariat is key to ensure a speedy and smooth path for successful submission of funding requests, regardless of who may be leading the process. All requests for GCF funding for projects or programs require official engagement of an accredited entity to channel legal arrangements towards implementation. To support the preparation of funding proposals, the GCF has established the Project Preparation Facility, which provides accredited entities up to 1.5 million US dollars for a given project within two years of submitting a request. There are various funding modalities depending on the specific needs of an accredited entity, and recently, a PPF service modality bridges assistance by project development organizations pre-screened by the GCF. To access the PPF, prior clearance of a concept note is required from the GCF Climate Investment Committee, in addition to endorsement from the requesting country's NDA via a no-objection letter. The review of a concept note for PPF approval considers a project's project description and theory of change diagram to assess the proposed activity's climate impact, country ownership, and paradigm shift potential. Common activities supported by PPF include feasibility studies, vulnerability and climate impact assessments, financial structure or logical framework design, GHG emission reduction estimates, and carrying out studies and action plans on environmental and social safeguards, gender, or indigenous people's considerations. Key recommendations for PPF approval include consulting with NDAs, maintaining close contact with the GCF Secretariat, planning for any deviations in carrying out activities under the PPF, and striving to complete the funding proposal within the PPF implementation period. The coordination of efforts to mobilize adaptation finance requires strong collaborative approaches. Considering the requirements of the GCF, internal arrangements to engage with, communicate, and strengthen internal capacities of accredited entities will be key in the race to address climate change. We JK have a lot of experience working with the developing countries in terms of the education and adaptation like disaster risk prevention or the water resource management or agriculture and so forth. And they actually what helped a lot for us is we have the scheme called the preparatory study and which helps uh, and we can utilize it for the preparation of the proposal for the GCF project. Most of our project is the slow dialogue with the uh, partner countries and the more very much focusing on the development issues of the partner countries. So means that uh, but uh, for, for implement the GCF project, we need to have another logic or the explanation like a uh, climate rational or the other uh, factors approved project experience uh, we are trying to approach in the air like uh, uh, several times and the uh, because the we prepared the proposal with the actual implementing organizations and not in the end. So, uh, but uh, to avoid uh, refusal or the uh, big comment from NDA. So we explain first to NDA, then uh, formulate the project, then again explain to NDA or like, so uh, good communication is quite crucial for the ASMUS preparation. So that is our uh, experience at now.